audio or video? Which one should it be? If you're thinking of starting a podcast and are unsure if you should just do an audio only podcast or a video and audio version podcast, so in other words, a video podcast, or maybe you already have a podcast and are thinking about adding the video side of things. Well, in today's video, I'm going to walk you through what are some pros and cons of both. And I'll share with you my thoughts on which one you should go with. Stick around. Welcome back everybody to Focus and Bloom. I'm Yesenia Bocanegra and here I share a variety of tips and tactics to help you up level your content creation. Sometimes I talk about photography and other times I talk about video. Today I'm talking about podcasting, like video and podcasting. So like video podcast. So let's talk about the differences and pros and cons of having an audio only versus a video podcast version of a podcast. I'm going a little meta here. Okay. Anyways, so let's Talk about the audio only. Well, the obvious pro to that is that you just need either a phone or you need a microphone really to record the audio and that's it. So you don't need all this fancy schmancy things of like lighting and camera and all that fun stuff. You can say that it is really a simpler version or the simplest way to create a podcast is just to make it only audio. And that's great because you can record your podcast anywhere. Um, I've recorded my first season of the podcast, the Focus and Bloom podcast. I recorded some episodes from bed with like surrounded by blankets in my pajamas. Sometimes I went to my closet and like surrounded myself with a lot of stuff when there was a lot more noise around the house. So really that's a cool opportunity or option just because it's simpler and involves less equipment. However, also another of the front to that is that you don't need to get ready to be in front of a camera. So that's, that's cool. Again, less equipment and overall, it's just an easier way. Now let's talk about the downside of an audio only podcast. And the first one, and this is a really important one, is that as of today, you don't have that rich in-depth analytics for a podcast as you would for a video, like within YouTube. However, I do want to point that YouTube is keeping an eye out for podcasters. So this may change in the near future. So who knows? So that is one of the downsides of just an audio only podcast and which in turn affects your options or the ability for discoverability of your podcast. Because remember, YouTube is the second largest search engine follow or preceded by Google. Google owns YouTube. So by having content on YouTube, that already improves your discoverability options. However, there is a workaround this if you choose to have an audio only option. And that is, you can do that through SEO. And with SEO, you can have a blog post with your show notes on your website. So that will drive traffic to your website, but I'm not going to get into in depth into that right now. I just want to point out some of the pros and cons of these two options that you have for creating a podcast. Now let's talk about video. I just mentioned YouTube and the advantages of having content in YouTube because it is discoverable for it being the second largest search engine. So that is one of the biggest perks of having a video podcast is the option to discoverability, to increase discoverability and to have a richer and more in-depth analytics. That is definitely a big factor in deciding one or the other because you are able to see even more so the results of the work that you're putting into the production of your podcast. Another perk to having a video podcast is that you have video footage that you can then repurpose into engaging content via short form videos. In other words, TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts. And these are three platforms that are really pushing short form video. So that is an added bonus to having a video podcast platform. Now, maybe you think that a video podcast would be too much or too much production involved. Yes, that is one of the downsides is that you do need more equipment, more lighting, and, and you need a camera, of course. However, maybe as you're getting into considering a full-on video podcast production, maybe you can just prop your camera and record it and then repurpose just snippets of the interview instead of the whole thing and then use that as a way to promote and market your podcast with some video content. So that's an idea for you to think about and consider. 
Another thing is that video does help with creating more engaging visuals or just overall more engagement because you can put a face to the name. Yes, there is a little intimacy when you have just audio format because you're inside people's ears. If you're trying to build a personal brand out of a podcast, this is going to be very beneficial to you because you put a face to the name with video and it does help create more connections and more engagement. And not to mention, you can also repurpose those video snippets of your podcast and embed them in an email. And that even increases your chances of email open rates. So there's definitely more pros that outweigh the cons when it comes to video podcasting versus just an audio only podcast. And the result here, my, my delivery or my thoughts on which one should be best. I think I might be a little bit biased towards the video, but really there are more pros to cons when it comes to video podcast production. However, the most important part here is that you need to find a production format that suits you. And if that is just audio, then it's better to just have the audio only, then have nothing at all. So start there, start with just an audio and maybe just leave it there if you think that that's the best way for you to promote it. And then maybe later on consider the option of having that video side or that video component into your show. As far as video production and just content creation overall, the important part is consistency. So if you are starting out in this podcasting journey, maybe you've already started and are thinking of elevating and taking it to the next step, please keep in mind the consistency that you can have in this production, whether that is consistently putting out there two episodes a month or maybe one episode a month or one episode a week, which is really great. Whatever that consistency is, you want to make sure that you can continue to maintain it throughout the duration of your podcast season, if you work in seasons or if you work throughout the whole year, so that this will help you create that know, like, and trust, which is ultimately what you need when it comes to building a personal brand. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, go ahead and click subscribe so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos or podcasts here on Focus and Bloom. And in the meantime, go ahead and click on the, these other videos here so that you can continue watching and learning and all that fun stuff. Bye.